Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the pharmacology of glyceryl trinitrate, more commonly known as GTN spray, for the treatment of angina. For more information on angina itself, you can see my dedicated video, the link for which I will provide below. GTN spray is administered sublingually or under the tongue. This is so it can be absorbed into the bloodstream as quickly as possible in order to provide immediate pain relief. GTN is actually a prodrug and is metabolized in the bloodstream producing nitric oxide. Nitric oxide diffuses into capacitance veins where it activates guanylylcyclase. This enzyme converts GTP to cyclic GMP, which goes on to activate protein kinase G. Protein kinase G activates myosin phosphatase, an enzyme which dephosphorylates the regulatory light chains of myosin. This prevents myosin from forming cross bridges with actin molecules and smooth muscle cells, and thus causes vasodilatation. This reduces central venous pressure, which reduces left ventricular pressure, which reduces the force at which the heart beats, which in turn reduces cardiac oxygen demand. In addition to this, GTN has a similar but reduced effect on arteries, which causes a reduction in afterload, the force against which the heart needs to pump. This further reduces cardiac oxygen demand. Finally, GTN also has a small effect on the coronary arteries, causing them to vasodilate, which increases coronary flow and therefore increases cardiac oxygen supply. However, as with most vasodilators, nitrates can cause hypertension, which can induce fainting in patients if they are standing. This hypertension also induces reflex tachycardia as a compensatory mechanism, increasing oxygen demand by the heart and thus exacerbating the angina. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.